How much do carbon fiber straps cost? When you think of repairs that could be done to a basement wall, a cracked wall can be ominous. Stay tuned to find out how much carbon fiber straps cost. Hi, I'm Nolan Beery, the Director of Sales Development at AccuLevel. A crack in your basement wall means the wall is being displaced. The best repair is a carbon fiber strap. In this video, I'll explain how carbon fiber straps are installed, how much they cost, and if you should expect any other expenses. If you're a homeowner and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, ring that bell for more content about home foundation repair and waterproofing. Let's get started. Carbon fiber straps are one of the simplest and cleanest options when it comes to repairing a bowed basement wall. The first step that we're going to do is grind down that basement wall. So if there's any paint or residue or any displacements, we just want to even that out in about a four inch wide strip from top to bottom. Next, we're going to epoxy that carbon fiber strap to the wall, including the necktie that binds to the silk plate or band board at the top to prevent the wall from leaning, and including the solid carbon fiber plate that is anchored into the slab or the foundation at the bottom to prevent the wall from shearing. Now once this has been done, you're gonna have a plastic film over the strap. You're gonna to wanna to leave that strap set for a day or two before you pull that film off. We wanna make sure that epoxy gets hard and is no longer sticky. Otherwise that can get stuck on your skin, clothing, and it's very hard to come off. The cost of carbon fiber straps is gonna range from seven to $800 per strap. These straps are gonna be two foot off of corners and placed every four foot along the wall that's bowing. We wanna make sure we capture that entire wall to prevent any future movement in the entire wall. If you only tackle one section, then this could let another section move. Now, the pricing gap is due to which way your floor joists run with your basement wall. So if your floor joists run parallel to your basement wall, there's some additional support called band board blocking that will need to be done at the top to prevent your band board where the necktie attaches from pulling in. So it's just that extra step to make sure you don't see any future problems on that basement wall. The main other expense past the carbon fiber straps that you look at in your basement is what's causing that wall to bow. It could be water in your basement, so an additional expense could be for us to come in and actually fix the water problem if you're getting that into the basement. Besides that, it really comes down to what you want to do when you finish that basement space. These straps are going to be a little bit apparent. Now the epoxy is a gray, so we try to blend that in with the block or the poured concrete of your basement but you will know they're there. So if you're wanting to completely hide them, so some additional expenses may be studying those walls out and putting drywall to truly finish the space. To schedule an appointment with one of our project advisors, give us a call or go to our homepage, aculeveled.com, and click the book a consultation button. Fill out the form and we'll contact you within the next business day. Do you have questions about carbon fiber straps for your home? If so, please leave them in the comments below. Check out the description for more videos and blog articles on crawl space and foundation repair. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and ring that bell. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.